Jen, I will beat your mother fucking ass outside, bitch. I see you again and go to fucking jail. You little bitch. I do not need to be disrespected. If anyone touches her, jail. But oh, it's me, it's okay. Get her the fuck out. Go to the parking lot, bitch. You're not, you're not nice to me. I knew it was big. I knew it. Right when I picked it up, just to look at myself, it fell out and fucking broke into thousands of pieces. And it's still falling out. Ugh. Okay, you guys know I love Kylie, but look at this wand. This is a this is Kylie Jenner's makeup brand, and this is the quality. Hunty, no. I'm gonna try one more. This has never been used before. Oh my god. Uh, not acceptable. This is no hate whatsoever. It's just like when you're a multi-million dollar celebrity, why would you put anything out half-assed? And I've seen that she has mentioned the wand on her snap, right? It just doesn't make sense. Why are you a multi-million dollar celebrity and putting out something janky? Like, the wand should be good the first time, not the second time you make the new batch. So what that basically tells me is that they half-assed it, put out the product, and then the next run, they're gonna make improvements. Bitch, it should be perfect the first damn time so every customer gets it. So, no offense to her, but these are fucking garbage. So a few highlighters that we sold at DragCon, and then our first shipment of King Tut, there were 3,000 um, units that were broken, which I wasn't aware of. So sadly, we shipped those out. Every other color was not dropped. Nothing was wrong with it. We do Girl, you know damn motherfucking well what you did. What'd I do? You had snake bounty acid in my auntie face. What? Yes, you did. Don't deny that crap. Oh my god, when the hell did I do that, girl? You did that shit a couple of months ago. You say black folk cannot wear MAC cosmetics and you splash your ass in her face. Well, maybe if she wasn't wearing the wrong foundation color, I wouldn't have to splash no battery acid. I wanted to lighten her skin tone, girl. But that ain't correct. You know she was in the hospital. <laughs> I mean, oh, I'm so sorry, ma'am. I'm angry as hell. I'm about to beat your motherfucking ass. <laughs> well, why didn't you come over here, girl? Cause I know what you did too. You know, I know what you did to my little sister. You slapped her at Walgreens. Who? That little black bitch, Keisha? You slapped her cause you were stealing eyelashes. Honey, I am a woman of wealth and that black bitch did not see me steal nothing. I was paying with my platinum visa. You was a goddamn lie. Now, do you have Keisha's number? I need her to wash my car. <laughs> Say, would you like vegan butter? No. Okay. Why do you have peony? I want the vegan butter. Do you want it? Kind of like in your bed? Oh, wow. Oh, yeah. Wow. I'm so excited. Oh, man. Just like that. Oh, man. So I keep getting all these tweets that people are thinking makeup by Shayla is talking about me on her new snaps. Bitch, I wish the motherfucking hoe would. So basically, we were in New York, and this girl was asking Shayla about lip injections. Shayla looked at her entire face and said, You need him, bitch. Your face is disproportioned. Now, why would a grown woman tell another grown woman something that disgusting and ugly unless she was an insecure rat herself? So long story short, Shayla, your engagement is as low as your IQ, no one fucks with you, all your friends talk shit behind your back, and you're a fucking cunt. Now, I'm as humble as they come, but when fucking cunts like you 
want to disrespect everybody and act like you're above us all, you can have a fucking seat and a bench. So you can act gangster and talk all the shit you want. You're irrelevant. No one fucks with you. And all your friends talk shit behind your back. So reevaluate your entire existence. So you can try to drag me all day long. At the end of the day, let me know. Let me know when our checking accounts match. Bye ho. At the end of the day, these irrelevant little girls that think they're better than all of us, they're called the mean girls at all these events. Literally no one likes them. It's pathetic. I'm getting a lot of tweets like, who are you even talking about? Exactly. It's a little Instagram, little makeup person that really no one cares about, but I just had to give her a little moment. So at the end of the day, Shayla, if you're watching this, have fun with your used YSL purses and your fucked up cheek filler because <sighs> I feel bad for you. All right, I'm done. Now, at the end of the day, she's a bully and she has to look in the mirror every morning with that horrible, fucked up attitude. So, <sighs> deceased. There's one thing I will not tolerate and that is a motherfucking liar. Shayla, why are you tweeting me? That's exactly what you said! You literally looked in that girl's eyes and said, your face is disproportioned, you need lip filler, and you were so fucking evil, it made my stomach sick. Sick. It's the fact that no one has ever called you out, that's why you're shook, bitch. You are fucking shook because I'm exposing you for the disrespectful, insecure little female that you are. Alright guys, I'm done with my rant, and a lot of you were like, well, why didn't you just say something to her in Vegas? I avoided her being professional, and I didn't even look her in the eyes or acknowledge her in Vegas. So I'm pretty sure I should send her an invoice for all that free press I just gave her because everyone's like, who is that? Exactly. All right, back to my regular scheduled programming. Gonna get my nails done now. I don't want to!